In most markets, the model replaced the second-generation accent. Moreover, it was called Verna only in Russia, in other countries it was the accent of the third generation. Most of the units and assemblies of the Verna were borrowed from the previous model, but there are still differences, in particular, an electric booster was installed instead of the power steering. In most of all worries the owners. The mechanism with the ending 500 in the designation code is disturbing even on a new machine. He works with a noisy rhyme, now he creaks, then rustles, then cracks, or even sings like a nightingale. However, up to a certain point, he copes with his duties. The first failures of the Euro were noted at a run of 50 to 60,000 kilometers, when the steering wheel suddenly got up like a stake, most often this happened in hot weather, if the speed was low, consider yourself lucky. It is not difficult to return the mechanism to normal, you need to turn off the ignition and take a break, but the refusal can be repeated at any time. Considering that the EPS error, this abbreviation means Euro, was stored in memory, dealers change the unit under warranty. True, it is not always quick, since few people keep the Euro in the warehouse. Often, deliveries had to wait for months, and against the background of a ban on operation, a record of this is made in the diagnostic report. For the sake of a good cause, it's not a sin to be patient, but, instead of the remove mechanism, dealers put exactly the same one. In fact, they changed the all for soap, with the same capricious resistive moment sensors. When the warranty of most machines came to an end, another problem arose. You can't buy a penny sensor separately, it's not supplied as a spare part, so you had to change the expensive assembly assembly at your own expense. Then the owners sounded the alarm, uniting on the forum of their club. It turned out that 38% of users had the same problem. This was confirmed by the residents of Ukraine, they counted as many as 57% of refusals. In Ukraine, Verna, that is, Accent 3, was more popular. She even started selling earlier than us. A considerable part of the cars was used in a taxi, with the appropriate mileage. The Slavic brothers were the first to start fighting for their rights by contacting the Hyundai Motor Ukraine representative office. Say, admit a design defect that affects safety, and replace the defective unit for free even after the warranty expires. Even if not immediately, but justice prevailed, dealers were obliged to change the mechanism, regardless of the year of manufacture and mileage, if there was an error in the controller's memory. Moreover, already upgraded units were installed, 56300-0 and 502 for the gasoline version and 56300-0 and 702 for the diesel version. Both are with an optical sensor that has no drift. But what about in Russia? The club's appeal to Hyundai Motor CIS received a reply. It turns out that the closer to the West, the more civilized the problems of motorists are solved. For reference, in addition to the aforementioned units, on the Thverns occasionally came across mechanisms with the ending 501 in the code, with an electromagnetic sensor. They are not involved in the main problem, however. By 40 to 60,000 kilometers they often begin to knock on bumps due to a lack of lubrication in the intermediate clutch. YSBB091105 QQK grease itself, together with work, is three orders of magnitude cheaper than an electric booster. Therefore, dealers often breed a client to replace the euro, it is more profitable for them. But in Ukraine, lubrication is carried out without question and even the steering mechanisms are restored using the repair kit 56,553 to 25,000. Suspension. There is only one problem, shock absorbers. Relatives, Mando firms. Do not cope with the buildup of the body, even when new. Especially goes to the rear passengers. On the waves of the coating, the car wags its back, every now and then striving to slide off the trajectory. Perhaps, if Verna had become more common in Russia, this feature would have been noticed earlier. But, until the super-popular Solaris appeared with almost the same rear suspension, with a semi-independent H-beam, similar weight distribution and similar shock absorbers, only installed at a different angle. The media and the owners were silent. The latter were simply looking for the most acceptable replacement options. Tried, Kaiba, Sachs, Monroe, it's not that. We settled on, horses, 8240-1115 Sport, rear assembly and 8610-1410 Sport, front. Dealers, alas, were not involved in this matter either. They only changed obviously faulty shock absorbers with smudges under the guarantee. Among other things, with native shock absorbers, the resource of the struts and stabilizer bushings is almost half as much, if with the horses they nurse under 90,000, 
and with the Mando it is barely 50,000 kilometers. Engine. The Faithful were delivered to the Russian market with one engine, the G4EE of the Alpha series. The unit is well known from the gets and has caught a cold reliable. But sometimes, during a cold start, idle speeds can fluctuate, hinting at low-quality fuel. The problem is solved by changing the refueling point or, more radically, by replacing the firmware of the control unit from the basic identifier TFE6I41 to the modified TFE6I42 for Russian realities. Transmission. There are no complaints about the manual gearbox, which cannot be said about the clutch, either the pedal starts to creak, or the release bearing buzzes. It happened that by 50,000 kilometers the noise became unbearable, forcing the whole assembly to be changed. However, there are few such cases, after all, the clutch serves up to 100,000 kilometers. Keep in mind that refurbished baskets are supplied for spare parts, but they nurse the declared resource without problems. In the machine, we regularly change the oil and put up with the slightly thoughtful operation of the unit. No other annoyances were found.